I think Jack's hit it right on the head. You know, our interest level is combining everything that we do, all of our experience and working with churches for years and years and on uh, on their on their communication, on their donations, on their uh, growth and everything else. He introduced me. I am CEO of Avid Mobile. That's me right there. Uh, I don't wear a bow tie every day, but you know, this was, uh, I like this. I like this bow tie. So I showed it to you. This is my daughter Wrigley. So you can see her. She uh, likes to be a part of all of my work and sometimes comes to the office with me. So I thought I'd show her. Let's jump in and talk about uh, first some stats, and then I'm going to talk about how it applies to uh, your congregation, your real life. And I want you guys all to shut off all your other distractions and put your mind into how can I leverage this to actually grow my ministry? How can I um, how can I use this tool and this and there's more than just a tool here. There's kind of a philosophy, and the philosophy that's embedded is one that when Sunday service is over, our lives go back to their normal lives. And we've got all these habits that we have formed throughout our years. And we go out into, the, in, into our normal life, and we oftentimes forget about what happened on Sunday. This is a new way to engage your congregation and get them participating with you and communicating with you throughout the week and increasing participation, increasing engagement, getting them to go out and witness into uh, witness to other people and actually like um, uh, be an extension of your ministry. And so how, how does that work? Well, we know, we know Facebook. We know all about it. People talk about it, preach about it. Um, you know, we may like it, we may not. But the reality is millions and millions of people are on it. They're on it 21 minutes a day on average, which is just absolutely re ridiculous. Um, the, uh, but more people text message than utilize any other form of communication in actually in the world. More people text message on a daily basis than use a desktop or laptop computer. More people text message than even have a toothbrush worldwide, which is really crazy. But uh, the reality is that we look at our phones 150 times a day. This is actually, an, it's an annoyance to me personally, even though I'm in this business, that people look at their phones so often. They do it when I'm having a conversation with them. They can't even concentrate on what I'm saying. I'm sure at times they're you know, checking their phones during service and not paying attention to what you're saying. But how can we turn that and leverage that as a tool to actually grow our congregation and uh, to grow the communications that we're having with them and actually get engagement back? And that's really what we're talking about. There's a lot of different tools to be able to communicate with people. Email's great. Uh, email works. But email only has 20% open rates, which is about 2 out of 10 people or 20 out of 100. And then people click through if you say, hey, read my blog or read this information. They only click through about 1% of the time or about 1 out of 100 people that you send something to. Compare that to Facebook. Well, everybody's on Facebook, but we know Facebook doesn't show our posts. When we make posts for our business page, they often don't appear in anybody's feed. I don't even know if you realize that. But, you know, if we make a post from our business page or our church page, a lot of our church members don't actually ever see it. Too many other stuff. Too much stuff is already there. Uh, Facebook isn't uh, promoting our our message. Um, they're not pushing it up there at the top of our feeds of our all of, all of our people that have engaged with us, and they want us to pay them to be able to get it up there. And even if we do that, we're still not going to get uh, a large percentage of reads, averaging 12% read rates. And this is kind of funny. That's a third of a person. Or only about one out of three people will ever click through whatever you say on Facebook and watch your video or read something about what you're doing. They're certainly not responding. You post something on Facebook right now, you guys know this, we don't see but two or three responses a lot of times, maybe none. This is a way to actually start getting engagement on social media. Why? How? Well, when you send a text message out, a text message is open and read 99% of the time usually, um, literally almost every single person. 20 out of 100 people will click what you put in the text message and watch the video or, or look at the information you're sending them. And that's on average. I see churches far greater than that because they've got an engaged uh, membership. And I'm going to show you kind of how to do that. A lot of people think mobile and they think apps. Although we provide a mobile website app for our partners and, and churches that we work with, it's good to know that 80% of apps are unused. If you go out there, and, and I was actually sitting in a church a week ago, and I'll tell you the story real quick. And I'm talking to the uh, the pastor of the church along with two other people at the church. They've got a big church. They've got like, 
uh, I don't know, 2,500 people maybe that are members. And, um, you know, they've got like 6,000 members, but they have like 2,000 people that show up through their church services on Sunday on, on average. And I asked him, how many people have your app? And he said, oh, we've got a lot of people. We've, you know, we've got like two, uh, what did he say, like, oh, it was like 30% or 40%. So it was like maybe uh, 900 or 1,000 um, app downloads. And he goes, but the funny thing is that I know that like 10 of those are from my own house. My daughters, my son, my mom, my wife, me. And he goes, and if somebody loses their phone and they download an app, that counts as an app download. But basically, you know, he's still only got probably maybe 20% reach of his congregation, 20% of the people that have the app. And out of all those people, the people that allow for push notifications, if you know what that is, or the ability to push a message out to them is even below that number. So uh, people invest a lot of money in apps. The problem is reach. How much of their congregation do they actually get to engage and use that app? And that's what it's about. If we can get to 100% of our congregation that allows us to communicate with them during the week and participate back, that's really our goal. But 70% would be a victory for everybody. What can the church do? What we're talking about is extending the conversation beyond Sunday, through all kinds of communication channels, not just text, not just Facebook, email, web, your blogs. The thing is, we have information to share with our congregation on a weekly basis. We want our congregation to go beyond that and reach out to the people that we don't even know about, that we don't even, that other families, their friends, their family. But we're not getting that done very effectively right now. And we're going to show you more on how to do that. Plus increased donations, through this entire communication tool. Um, just to finalize here, we are an international mobile communication provider. We work with businesses and churches, so we've got a very business, kind of a business philosophy mind uh, embedded in all this, but it's cool because we actually can bring mobile, uh, mobile marketing. Uh, I did that in quotes. You guys can't see my air quotes, but if I had the webcam on, you know, air quotes, uh, mobile marketing. It's actually how to use uh, mobile tools to better engage a larger percentage of your people and and get them to participate with you on social media, get them to give you an email address, get them to um, a good email address, get more opens on everything that you do, get, get reads to your blogs, get uh, views to your videos, and uh, really start engagement, and that's what we're going to be able to do. Your mission is you want to reach out into the world and spread your ministry, and you want to do that for... Uh, you know, for a lot of reasons. And it's very difficult to get your ministry to go out and talk to other people. And I'm going to show you guys how we get people to do that better. Inreach, how to have better and more effective communications. Stewardship, you know, we care about protecting the resources that we have. Con conservation of the money that we spend on a monthly basis and having more to share with the people that really need it. And of course, our mission is to help yours. This is about reach and accessibility. This is the easiest tool to use ever, ever. Literally, you're standing there at the door when every single one of your church members walk in on Sunday. And instead of handing them a brochure that you spent 35 cents a piece to produce and it has your schedule and it has your calendar and it has your uh, schedule of what's going on for today and it has your upcoming all your stuff on it it's three pages or five pages or whatever instead of that every single person that walks by just reaches up and types their mobile number in the tablet as they're walking in the door and i'm talking about your youth i'm talking about your older people i mean everybody text messages and this what happens here they type their mobile number in instantly they get a text message right on their phone they're opting into your database. And now everybody's going into one database that is your whole congregation database. And so every single person walks in, types their mobile number in the tablet, instantly they get a text message right on their phone. Now they're walking to their seat. All they do is read the text message, click the link on their phone. When they click that link, it takes them right to your mobile site, your app. We build this for you. You can, you know, we'll help you do it, but you can modify it anytime you want to. Change colors, pick a different template, change the pages, add pictures, add video, whatever. And they click right to your program. And on your program, they uh, can read about, you know, whatever's going on in service today. They can click the donate page and donate right now. 
your app can look however you want it to look. And it's also a mobile website, so when people are searching from their regular desktop computer for your church, they can land on your mobile website where they have easy-to-push buttons. And when they go to your contact page, they can click the address and it maps them right to your location. Or click the phone and it calls you right now. Um, it, uh, you can have your schedules of events on it. Obviously, link to your donation pages, all of that. Now, okay, so everybody that walked in the door, they have that on their phone. They're clicking around on it. They're clicking the Bible page, and they're reading the, the passages in the Bible that you want them to read while they're in service. What, the ones that you're talking about, you put that right on the app, and now as they're sitting in the pews, they're reading what you want them to read, and you're giving them the information they want to read. And you talk about Wednesday night's event coming up, they click on the Wednesday night events button on the uh, tab, and they're reading about it while you're talking about it, right? But now they walk out the door. When they walk out the door, they go right to their phone and check their Facebook. They start text messaging their friends. They start watching football games. And they forget about anything that you talked about today. And then they go into Monday and they're going into their lives. And this is your opportunity to start building your congregation by building the engagement with your current parishioners, your current members throughout the week. Because now you can turn around and send a text message to them an hour after they left church. And you can tell them, hey, what did you think of today's sermon? Ask a question, post a picture, or make a comment right here, right now. And they click that link, and they go right to your Facebook page, and they write a comment on it. And they post a picture, and they ask a question. The thing about that type of engagement is that's the kind of stuff that Facebook shows to their friends. Each of your members has 220 friends on Facebook. Well, when you send the link right to their phone in a text message and you tell them to click it, they click it and they write a question about the sermon. And now they're thinking about what you just talked about and they're asking questions and their friends are seeing that. And now you're starting a conversation and you're responding back to them. And now we're, we're doing something that's viral. Tuesday, you send them a message and, and I, I work with uh, pastors that you know, will have their wife take their iPhone and just as they're sitting at their desk or sitting on their home or their back patio, recorded just a two-minute video where the pastor is just saying, you know, hey, here's some things to think about going into this week. You know, here's some things we talked about Sunday. Here's some things leading, you know, that you need to be reading leading up to service next Sunday. And all of those people, uh, they get that text message at 8 o'clock on a Tuesday night when they're watching their, you know, sitcoms. And now they, you can deliver this video right to their phone. They click that link. Boom, they're watching a video of you. And they're thinking about what, you, you know, what you're talking about. They're thinking about what they're engaged. Saturday, you send a message to people that uh, you know, says when service is starting. And here's some notes for, you know, for tomorrow's service. And this is a reminder and gets people excited about your uh, your ministry and excited about coming to church on Sunday because you're talking to them about what is coming up and you can send them a second one Sunday morning, right? Other things you could do. Um, you send a message out on Monday. This is this week. We need to read more study, uh, and grow your connection with the Lord. You know, read this by clicking, read this, click here. And that goes right to your blog where you, you know, wrote, uh, you know, three paragraphs and reference some scriptures that they need to read, right? Um, this one, you know, somebody gets sick, you send out a message to your entire congregation. The difference here is that this is not an app that you're sending them to. This is a text message that has 99% of your congregation open it up and read it. 95% within five minutes of when you send it. This is a way to actually really start engaging them on a weekly basis. You send out a prayer request, say, hey, uh, Susan Garcia needs our prayers tonight. She just went in the hospital right? Um, Friday night, we've got an event. You send a text message out to everybody an hour before the event, reminding them to come. And all of a sudden you have more people coming to that event, bringing friends. There's so much that you can do in having the ability to deliver information right to your groups. Obviously all your reminders to pray, to forward information to others, to participate in upcoming events, all kinds of videos or songs, um, you know, information about your upcoming event or, uh, things to read, notes on your services. But here's where it really gets good. 
not that it's not already. I mean, I hope you're all super excited and shaking with excitement, but outreach, outreach. We know how hard it is to get our youth to talk to their friends about coming to church. We know how hard it is to get our dads to talk to their buddies about coming to church. It's hard. But now, what if you can do it for them? You see, if you're standing there, just imagine this. Next Sunday, you're standing there in front of your entire congregation, and you tell them, hey, I hope everybody's been getting the text message I've been sending this week, been watching the videos, been reading the things I've been seeing. You know, we had more participation on our Facebook page this week of people asking me questions uh, than we've ever had in our history. And that's really exciting. I hope everybody's really enjoying that, and it's helping to stay focused throughout the week on our ministry. But this week, we're going to use this tool to reach out into the community. And what I want everybody to do is I want you to pray real hard about it this week of who you think your friends, your sister, your family, um, you know, people from work, who is it that you think really needs to hear what we are doing here? Who needs to hear about what we're doing? Well, those people, I want you to pray about it and think about that. On Saturday, I'm going to send you a text message. And that text message is going to be a video. And that video is going to be me. And it's going to be me personally inviting your friends or your family to come in and visit us on Sunday and learn about how uplifting what we're doing here really is and how they need to come in. And all you have to do, you've been praying about it, you're going to have five people in mind. You're going to forward it to five people. And you're going to send a little follow-up text message that says, hey, watch this. It's my pastor. You know, I'd really like you to come with me on Sunday if you can. And if all of us do that, let's say we have 200 in our congregation. If all of us do that, we're going to reach 1,000 people on Saturday with our message. And those people are going to watch our video. And those people are, some of those people are going to need it. And a few people are going to come in. What if we only get two new families to walk in the door on Sunday? Then this was a success. And we've touched the lives of two people that desperately needed it. And that's how it starts. Imagine running one of those campaigns every three weeks with your congregation. Imagine building your congregation by just a few families every week by just utilizing the tool that everybody uses on a daily basis to communicate with each other. What they call text messaging is the lowest common denominator of technology. Everybody does it. Everybody has it. Now you can communicate with everybody else in that same manner. Sorry, I was moving my hands. You know, I've got so, I've got so much passion for this. I just like literally hit my own desk when I'm like talking about it. <laughs> so you can just imagine some of the things that you might be able to say. You know, we, won't, we want you to be a part of the joy in God's word. Watch this two-minute video. Right? Don't forget to forward this to five friends that you, that you think need to be blessed. Click here and then go right to your video. Tomorrow's service will be covering family time together. Forward this to a personal, personal friend. And when they forward that link, the people that, that click that link, they go right to your video or they go right to your message. And then it links to the page that has your contact information on it. And so, you know, it's right there on your app and they go right to the page that has your address on it. And they can click that and come right to church and map themselves right there, even if they don't know where it is. They can call you. They can click on the schedule and see what time service actually starts. All right from that message that you forwarded out, that your, your church family sent out to everybody else, forwarded out to everybody else. Just a few messages a month sent to those people that have a great interest um, you know, is going to bring in new families and going to help you start growing. For um, Here is something else. Okay, let me back up a step and now go back to how are you getting that database of people? Well, it's easy and it happens instantly. This Sunday, everybody's walking into church. Every single person, you have a tablet set up at every door and your deacons are standing there and everybody's walking in and they're typing their mobile number in, every single person, youth included. And everybody goes into that database. And 
now, but just imagine you've got another tablet set up that's just for your visitors. Because I was the same, actually the same congregation I met with last week and was sitting down in their church, um, the bigger congregation. They said, you know, we work really hard on our new members and, or not new members, but our visitors. You know, we have events where we like throw, um, they do this big event every year where they bring in like, you know, big bounce houses and trampolines and, you know, have candy and giveaways and games. And they invite everybody from the community, and they have hundreds and hundreds of people show up. Those are things they do to try, try to tell people about what they're doing in, in the, with their ministry. But now what they do is they set up a different tablet at the door of those events. And when new people walk into their congregation on Sunday, they have those new people type their mobile number in a different tablet. Because that different tablet is for people that are non-members. They go into a different non-member database. And now we've got uh, uh, the phone numbers. The single most important piece of data that we could ever have from an individual is their phone number, their mobile phone number. Your mobile phone number, uh, mine hasn't changed since I was uh, like 16 years old. 16. And I'm 39, by the way. Um, the, uh, you know, that their email address changes. They don't even open up their emails anyway. Their home address changes. The most important piece of data we can get is their mobile phone number. Now, all of our new members, we capture their mobile phone number. And now we can send out messages to them maybe only once a month and invite those people that were just visitors to come in and attend. They read that message on Sunday morning or on Saturday when we send that out. Or we remind them of the next event we're having. And we have more of those people show up. And they see the connection that we're making in the community. And, you know, if we send out a message to a 1,000 potential members, 100% of them read it basically, if we just got 2%, that's 20 new families that walk in the door and start to be a part of our family, right? You can build different databases of all of your different groups. So obviously I showed you how you can build your full congregation database, but these, are, these tools are easy to use. You can build a database of just your youth. Now imagine your youth uh, pastors, your youth, the people that run your youth. They um, now can send out different text messages to just the youth throughout the week because they care about different things. And we know we're losing a lot of those youth to their sporting events and to all the things in the world. But if we can keep communicating with them and get more of them to bring their friends to Wednesday night's uh, volleyball games, or uh, we know that we're going to grow in that manner as well. And I see some of the best churches doing the best things with youth. And that's where the future is for your congregation and the growth there. You can have a database of just your clergy so that you can tell them about emergencies, so that you can notify them quickly about all kinds of different things. Uh, so you can keep them engaged. You know, a database of your women's group. And then the women's leader sends out text messages to them about things that are going on with them. So you can send different messages to any of those different groups. Let's talk about more outreach, okay? Now, some, a lot of congregations that we work with, they do all kinds of things. They do events where, like, you know, they put a booth up at the fair and everybody walks by their booth. And they all do the same thing. They all stand there and talk to people, give away free water, and maybe have a game, maybe sell food, and then they hand people a pamphlet. That pamphlet gets thrown away two booths down when they get to the next trash can. But instead, what people are doing now is they got a tablet sitting there. And as they talk to the person walking by and give them the free water or the food, they say, hey, we want to send some stuff home with you about our ministry and what we're doing and we do great stuff with kids and it's, we do really cool stuff but we want we're going to send it home we're actually going to send you a video of what the inside of our church is really like and a little tour so you can really see what it's like but I want, i'm going to send it right to your phone uh, just type your mobile number in this tablet and they got a tablet sitting right there on the on the counter every person that walks by now goes into the database and now we can send them a personal invitation to come to church on sunday morning now we can pick up the phone and call every single one of those people and talk to them and have a conversation with them and personally invite them to come in and join. People do outdoor displays and they have no idea if anybody, they spend a lot of money on them. This is an example of an outdoor display, but people put up signs by the highway and they have no idea if anybody ever sees it. But instead, they could have people text in to see a video of a sermon or a video of the church or just to get some more information newspaper ads or any print publication absolutely comes to life when people can text miracle 
to the short code to be able to see different things. Now I want you guys to be able to see this right on your phone. Okay, so let's take a quick break here, not a break, but I'm going to put this URL into the chat. So if you guys can go up to the chat and click that link right there that I just posted, go ahead and click that link in that chat. The chat is right next to the phone icon at the top in your little screen share deal. If you click that link, it's going to take you to this page. This is a tablet landing page. This is an example, Breakthrough Church. So just like you're walking into service on Sunday, all you do is type your mobile number right in this form. So I just type my mobile number in here and hit Submit and Send Program. And as soon as I do, I receive a text message on my phone. And the next person walks up and types their mobile number in. So I want you guys to type your mobile number in and see that text message that you get back. So all you do is click that link, go up to the chat, click that link, type your mobile number in that form right there. Now, if you're having trouble with that, you can do it from your phone by sending a text message, hit new text message on your phone, and in the text message, type in the phone number 63975. That's who you're sending the text message to. In the message, all you do is type the word halo and hit send. So the phone number 63975, and in the message, type halo and hit send. And you'll get back the exact same message as if you typed in the tablet there. Okay? So everybody try that because I want you to be able to see it on your phone. See how it really works. See how pretty it can be. Um, and again, you can modify any of that. I'm going to show that to you here. Well, actually, let me just show it to you right now. Here is like how you manage that, um, uh, that mobile site. But you don't, don't, again, do not worry about having to, um, don't, do not worry about having this be like looking at this and going, ooh, a new technology. This is going to be too hard for me to learn. If you're creating a flyer right now with Word, you can change your mobile site. Here's the mobile site that everybody got back if they type their mobile number in. To modify it, all you do is click on the page that you want to modify and then go down and hit, you know, add a picture uh, right there. Just click add a picture. Or click down here and type in more information. And when you do that, then you can highlight it and you can change the colors of it and you can bold it and you can italicize it and you can change the fonts and you can make it exactly how you want. And as soon as you change that information and hit save, ever it you changed it. So we change, we can update our mobile sites really easy. And we're going to build the build it for you so you don't have to worry about it. But okay, let's say you want to change the program, today's service schedule, right? You click on that page. Now you just go down and you know at 10 o'clock is the main service and Pastor, you know, John Thompson is speaking. And you can put what he's speaking about, and you can put notes on his sermon here. But you can say at 11 o'clock is potluck. And, you know, you can put that right down on here, and you can tell them where it is. And, you know, you can change the sizes of it really easily. And as soon as you hit save, it adds it to the app, and now everybody can see that. So you can post a quick video for people. You can post anything. It's really, really easy to manage. And then, so I just changed some information. And now I want to send that out to a bunch of people. It's very easy. I just copy the link and I go right to my marketing platform, which is where I'm going to send a message out to all my database, my entire congregation, and I can do it in about a minute. So I jump into my marketing platform. I hit blast. And you guys don't have quite this many options, but you know, church notification. And then I type in whatever message I want to say. First Christian Church. Here is info about our service this AM. If you can't attend, please click and donate. And then you put the URL right there into the message. And then we hit save and schedule and send it. And it's that easy. Now, 100% of your congregation gets this text message, clicks the link, goes right to your mobile site, and boom, they are looking at the information that you want them to see or your video or whatever the case may be. Now, we talk about how to uh, be a better steward over the funds of your congregation. And the average congregation prints about 750 brochures a week. You may not print that many, 
but that's what the, an average congregation does. That's 3000 total per month. At $0.35 cents a piece is $1,000 a month they're spending on printing this paper and ink, plus they're killing trees and you know wasting resources and you're having to buy new printers and all this other stuff. Instead, giving people the digital program right to their phone not only opts them into the database, but it's way less expensive because you're given a digital version of it instead of the real version. And you can update it on the fly. You don't have to have all of this printed ahead of time. You can finish and make a change because you got a new, somebody new is speaking. You can do that five minutes before church service starts and change it. And then it's live on everybody's app, everybody's mobile website. The investment to do this digitally, the way that I'm describing with the kiosks, with the mobile site, with everything that we're talking about will save you sometimes hundreds of dollars per month, save you hundreds of dollars a month. But there's also one other thing. By making one extra request for an additional donation per month can result in lots of extra donations. I'm going to talk about that. But the most important thing here is what you save in your very first month of using this tool will more than pay for the entire use of the service and have all of those advantages that are inherent, that are built in, like reaching your congregation throughout the week in ways that you never knew were even possible. You can start this program for less than a dollar a day that includes your kiosk, includes the mobile version of your program, includes the mobile websites, everything else. I skipped a couple slides here, so I'm going to jump back into it and talk about, this is the ones I miss. I'm going right back to this. So obviously, these people are in service. They can get your text message. They can click right to the link and read the passage that the, the pastor wants them to read right now because you can send it right to their phones while they're in service. But one of the really cool things is what about, you might have, and I know this because I talk to churches all the time, you might have 500 members, but you only have 300 members that showed up today. Those other 200 members, they get a text message on their phone that they open and look at, and they're reading about what you're doing, and they're clicking on the page and donating right now, even when they're not in attendance. Because on Sunday, my daughter has a softball tournament. Not here and not this week, but I mean, that does happen. Obviously, I've got, looks like three inches of snow outside my window right now. But on Sunday, many of your people have other stuff going on that's taken them away from your church. The bad part is, if you don't continue to communicate with them this week when they're not in attendance, they have already started a habit, and next week they might not attend also. But if you stay in communication with them throughout the week, and next week when they can't attend. Then that third week comes, it's harder to miss because they've seen some of the stuff that's going on in service. And they've seen your, uh, their, your post, um, post-service post text message that talked about what you were talking about and sent them the notes. And they read what you said and they watch your videos throughout the week. And then that third Sunday that they would have missed because they've already started this habit of missing, they come in and now they're back in the seat where you want them to be. But when they're not there, they still are engaged and they still click the link and they still donate. And now you're getting donations from people that you otherwise weren't getting before. Because like I said, your 500 member congregation, only 300 of them are in the seats right now. What about those other 200? What if only 50 of them went ahead and donated on Sunday when you sent them the message to go ahead and donate, even if you weren't in attendance? 50 donations? They get that message at 8.15 on Sunday morning. They click the link. It takes them right to your app. They click the donate button. It takes them right to your donate page. This is an example of a Blue Fire donate page, right? But they can do donate from anywhere. So whatever your merchant processor you're using currently, we link right up to that. So we integrate with anybody. It doesn't matter who it is. Obviously, Halo Pays is an awesome system, which is why we're partnered with them. They click right through. They can donate right now. Let's talk about what we call the fifth Sunday of the month. You see, the 15th of the month is a great day to send out an extra request for a donation. You send an extra donation request on the 15th of the month to your 100% of your congregation. I don't care if it's only 100 members, 100 member congregation. You tell them on the 15th of the month, hey, we're really trying to raise some extra money so we can go ahead and buy that building. If you can today, go ahead and donate an extra $20, $50, $100. 
Every one of you are trying to raise extra money for something right now. By putting it right in the hands of your congregation on the 15th of the month when a lot of people just got paid and saying, hey, donate an extra 20 bucks for our uh, playground fund. The extra donations that you bring in will pay for months and months of this service. Obviously, you can also use it at events where you can have people text in to donate money. You can have people text in to pay for admissions or raffles or anything else. It's, it can work like a virtual terminal for you. So how do we get started and what does it include? Well, each program includes your free mobile website. This is a free mobile website app. It's, it can be saved as an app icon on all everybody's phones. You can change the pages of it super easy. I've already shown you how to do that. That app icon, you know, it's your app icon that everybody's dropping right on their phone so they can check in on it anytime they want to. You also get an online portal where you can easily see all your text messages delivered, how many people have opted in, manage all your different databases of people, and it's so easy to do. But a bonus is that being a part of this program, oh, by the way, for a limited time, actually up until next Wednesday of next week, we're completely waiving any setup fee, which means anybody that joins now Wait, we're waiving a $250 setup fee. That means you can literally start right now for $29 and get in the program and get your free mobile website and your tablet landing page, your kiosk where everybody's going to opt in. And we'll help you build your mobile site. Normally $250, today nothing, up until next Wednesday. So you have until then. Now let's talk about the different programs real quick. I'll come back and talk about the different programs and what they have. But as a bonus, you also get to be a part of our monthly educational webinars for our partners where we talk about uh, improving communications and growing involvement and getting more people to communicate with on social media which is a huge huge piece because social media alone does not do it and I talk to people all day long about their blogs and about the materials they're putting out there and the information they're putting out there in their videos and they say man we're doing everything that everybody tells us to do but nobody is seeing this information I'm looking at it and I'm getting five views on my videos and I'm getting three people clicking on my blog and I've got almost nobody participating in my social uh, my 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 uh, social networks but day one when you send that message following up your Sunday service and give people a link and tell them to ask you a question, all of a sudden you've got engagement. And that's just a part of what we teach in our upcoming educational seminars. The educational seminars are not just about mobile, but how to improve all communication channels, how to do a better job on your social media, how to do a better job on your email, uh, how to grow your donations, how to use outreach techniques, how to create great outdoor displays or events, stuff, stuff that's really exciting, how to execute well, all of those kinds of things, and of course, how to get more donations. Here's some topics of some of the upcoming webinars. Everybody right now, I'm going to put this link into the, uh, into the chat. You can go right now to this page, and you can enroll today, and this will, let's see, let me get the, should I, let me go right here, pop this into the chat. Right there's the link. If you guys go to that link right now, that is going to take you to this page. On this page, you just go all the way to the bottom and you click which plan that you want to be in and we're waiving the setup fee just till next Wednesday. And as a bonus, anybody that enrolls by next Wednesday gets those free educational seminars slash webinars. We're really going to teach you how to use this tool. Really go in depth, plus teach you all of those other things. Let's compare the programs real quick. The Easy Start program, less than a dollar a month, um, obviously is going to save you money on your printing. So that's less than what you're, what's costing you as far as paper, ink, um, your printing, your time, everything else is going to be saved by using this digital method. It's going to get you your tablet landing page so that you can have it, tablets at the door and, and opt everybody in. You can actually do it from phones too if you guys don't have tablets, but um, uh, tablets are a great, great way. People love typing their mobile number in the tablet, by the way. It's going to link to your donation for tithes. Um, you're going to have one-on-one -on -one training to help you. You get 250 included text messages and three cents per text message over that, or that would be $30 per thousand if, if you're thinking about it in that manner. The next program is the what we call the growing congregation plan, $79 per month, but it's a penny less per text message, or $20 per thousand if you go over your thousand included texts. Because when you send one text message out to 100 people, that's 100 text messages, right? 
but you get a thousand included here, which means if you've got a congregation of a hundred people, you can be on this plan and you can send out three messages a week to your parishioners and not go over your limit. But even if you do, it's two dollars every time you send a message to your congregation. Let's hypothetically say that we send a message to a hundred people in our congregation and ask for an ad additional donation. It costs us, if you want to say it's a cost, two dollars to send it to that hundred people. Two bucks. Now, if we have just two people donate 20 bucks, that's $40 we brought in, and it cost us $2 just to ask them for an additional donation. Now, obviously, if we have 1,000 people in our database, it's even better. Bigger congregations, $149 a month, gets you 2,000 included text messages, only 1.5 cents. That's 1.5, not 15 cents. 1.5 cents per text message, or $15 per thousand. You send a thousand people a message and ask for an additional donation and it costs you $15, you'll get back hundreds, thousands of dollars of extra donations that you otherwise would not have received. You guys can sign up right now. If you still have questions and want to talk it over, you can email me directly at halo at avidmobile.com. I will put that in the chat as well. If you want to shoot me an email, if you want to talk about you know, your specific situation or, you know, how it might work for you, or you've got questions like that, 